Why do we gotta call him Din Djarin? I mean, I know that's his name, but I don't understand. Why couldn't we just call him, why couldn't we just call him Mando, right? Don't we just know him more as Mando? Good morning, everybody. It's me, your Star Wars dad, and I'm here with my live reaction. Kind of, I mean, I'm live. You're not live. It's not a live stream. Having trouble with my chair behind me, but hey, I'm here with my reaction to season 12 of Lego Star Wars Battles. Let's jump in. I try not to see anything before uh, anything happens here before the video. I want to give you my reaction. You guys know I already did the preview where we saw we're going to be meeting Din Djarin and Moff Gideon. How many trophies am I resetting to here? 5,300. I think that's the same as last season. I think that's the same. Season 12. Now there's Mando and Grogu. Hello there, little Grogu. Yes, yes. We love you, buddy. <laughs> Hang on, is my audio on here at all? I can't hear anything. Anyway, so there we go. Okay, it's a new season. Complete Din Djarin's Trials. Yeah, we'll talk about it later. Okay, Din Djarin's Trials. So here we are. I like the little... I like the silver gray. I like that. I like the um, Beskar coloring here. I think that's really cool. A <laughs> little baby Grogu. That's cool. Uh, Alright, let's see what we got. Where is it? In here? With credits, with credits dwindling and razor crest parts rusting over, Din Djarin is desperate to find somewhere to lie low and complete some easy jobs for easy money. However, with Grogu by his side, dark side forces are always close behind him. So we got the new champion, Din Djarin, uh, Moff Gideon, and we got the Mandalorian Heavy Infantry and the Clatoonian Raider. As we stated before, the question is, and I guess we don't get a new planet, and I guess rewards have not been reset. I mean, man, I'm almost out of rewards. I would imagine a lot of you guys are too. I don't, you know, I'm not the heaviest player. There are people that play, like, a lot more than me. You know, I, I play a fair amount, but... I've still got rewards on Takodana, Kashyyyk, Naboo, and Kessel, and that's it. So one, two, three, four. You know, my audio is corrupted here. That's what's going on. I'm going to have to turn the audio off on the game. Sorry, everybody, if anybody's hearing the audio. Man, that was messed up. I don't know what I was like trying to look at. My audio is messed up. Okay, so let's look at these cards. Let's look at these cards here. And I have a, I kind of have a question. I kind of have a thing. Why, why do we gotta call him Din Djarin? I mean, I know that's his name, but I don't understand. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, why wouldn't you just call him? I, I know you don't want to get him confused with the Mandalorian heavy infantry, right? So you wouldn't, you maybe don't want to call him. The Mandalorian, because you also have Mandalorian heavy infantry. And then it's like, you, you know, get, I'm watching Mandalorian. But they, they're looking out for me, right? So I don't have to say things like, Mandalorian, Mandalorian heavy infantry. So it gets confusing. But why couldn't we just call him, why couldn't we just call him Mando, right? Don't we just know him more as Mando? Realizing that, yes, his given name is Din Djarin. But Darth Vader's given name is Anakin Skywalker. Um, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I mean, why wouldn't we call her Leia Scott? Anyway, I, I just, I'm just not really sure why they chose to go with Din Djarin. It's fine. It doesn't really impact the game at all, and it's good. Okay, let's look at his stats. Like we talked about, L Whistling Birds launches a flurry of Whistling Birds at surrounding enemies. The range is 17, so it seems like what this is is uh, Boba Fett's ability at a longer range, 17 instead of 10, and doing less damage. That seems very promising to me as a light side champion because we really don't have any light side champions that do a lot. Well, Ahsoka does a lot of damage, but it's all melee. She's got to get in close. So Din Djarin holds a little bit of promise for me as a character. We look at uh, the Mandalorian Heavy Infantry. Um, ground unit damage 19, and it seems like he's going to be doing... You see his gun there? He's going to be... Well, he's going to be doing single target damage. So he's kind of like a higher health, lower damage, super battle droid. And then we go, it's, it's a pretty cool, it, it's, I do like, I do like the little, I like the way Mando poses here. I'm just going to call him Mando. He's just Mando, whatever. I love the pose, like, yes, I'm looking off of the distance. This is the way. <laughs> this is the way. Uh, okay, dark side, we got Gideon. 
Moth Gideon, Focused Fire, Swiftly Shoots Foes, Damage Increases Over Time and Targeting the Same Enemy. So he's going to be a champion killer, right? Like his combo damage right there is okay. And I don't know how quickly... Ability Charge Time is 11 seconds. I don't know how quickly he's going to shoot at the same enemy, but it seems like... It seems like it'll be pretty fast because, you know, abilities only last for, you know, two, three seconds. So he's got to do all those shots in the in that time frame. I don't, we'll have to see how that works in gameplay. Um, and of course, I will be live tomorrow night in the event. What's the event? Well, we'll look at it in a second. We're gonna look at the event. I'll be live tomorrow night in the event. We'll be playing with all these new. You know, well, I'll be playing with the new champions in the event. I have no guarantees that I'll unlock Coltunian Raider and the Mandalorian hard armor whatever guy armored Mandalorian guy by tomorrow night in time for the event. But I will be testing the champions because I can buy them right now. In fact. I'll buy them here as soon as we're done looking at these descriptions. Uh, overview. Tough melee unit who shot... So this feels like, to me, that he's kind of like... Um, he's going to shock everybody, but it's kind of got a cone. So what I've said before, I think this feels like Emphis Nest to me, doing more damage with less health. Kind of the... So you got the Emphis Nest dark side. Moff Gideon doesn't... I don't think Moff Gideon has a light side... Um, similar kind of deal and now as i think about it he could be a really good tauntaun counter right the tauntaun is a real problem but if he's going to do combo damage in like two or three seconds and just ramp up his damage each time he hits that could be pretty deadly for tauntaun so yeah that's interesting and once again we might have a useful dark side champion uh, to, to give us more and more and more useful dark side champions and we continue to have like I use Princess Leia sometimes. I, I mean, I've used Princess Leia, but she's pretty tough and she's challenging to use There's like Ray who's useless Mace Windu who is kind of interesting But you don't really you know, there's just some some folks in the, and then Ben who can only use at higher levels Anyway guys, uh, let's go ahead and let's go and buy these cards. Uh, I'll pop up here Din Djarin cost me 1200 man. You're sucking me dry here. You're sucking me dry, devs. There's the uh, new emotes unlock. We'll take a look at those emotes here in a second, too. Uh, Moth getting cost me 1,200. That's just brutal. It's hard. It's hard to stomach that. I have enough to upgrade them. No, I don't. I've got enough to upgrade one of them. So, there you go. Here are your new champions and cards for Season 12. Where do we go from here? Nobody really knows. Uh, there's been a lot of data farming, and I don't think they've seen any data beyond this season. So it should be interesting to see where the seasons go after this one. Oh, what's the event? We are on the reinforcements battle with flamers being reinforced. So actually, I think both these champions will do might do okay against them. Like if Gideon targets just a flamer, he's going to do a lot of damage, and well, we'll find out. We'll find out. There you go, everybody. There's the season 12 reaction. Here we are. It is. It's time. It's time for Beskar, Din Djarin's Trials, uh, Commander Abian completing Trials. New. I, I do like the little, I, I think that's awesome. I like Mando with, uh, with Grogu up there. I think that's great. It's cute. And I know we got some emojis coming our way later. We'll see if they're here. Oh, we didn't look at the emojis. I'm lying. I'm lying. Da 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 da. Where are we? Where is, where is, here we go, new. I have no, he's laughing. Okay. <laughs> and he's mad. He's smacking at you with the dark saber, and he's mad. And then if we go over to our our emojis here on the light side, I can't click the buttons. Um, again, my sound is corrupted, so it's not working. I did want to give you my original reaction. High five with IG Eleven, baby. And then hug and grug. This is awesome. I like this one a lot. I may have to use that one. Hope it's got. Let me hear the sound again. Hang on. Can I hear the sound? Nope. Totally not working at all. My sound's not working. So we'll see what it sounds like later. There you go, guys. Season 12. We'll see what happens after Season 12. But for now, trophies have reset. Be prepared for a lot of battles against some really good players. I'm going to throw some meme-ish type decks out there at the beginning of the season to play with. We'll have some fun. Um, by the way, that's not a meme-ish type deck. This might be, this might be even more of a meme. We maybe we'll, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Guys, have a great day. Enjoy yourself. And always remember, Nooch too good.